Hello, George here. Well, looking at the new squares, it looks like we are in the opening moves of uh, Psalm 83, uh, where um, uh, Israel would uh, do its initial attack. Although uh, no, the, no, no one, uh, certainly the media, doesn't seem to realize this or, uh, or believe it, uh, because they're using basically um, their own framework of looking at the world. Uh, which is not a biblical framework. And so when you look at the world from a biblical framework, you can see things and patterns that others would not be able to see. And so what I'm going to be um, going in this video is describing the two explosions in Damascus and explaining why I believe this is the opening move of the Psalm 83 battle. The battle plan is the defeat of the Midianites. Okay, let's first review the facts. On December 23, 2011, which is a Friday morning, two explosions were heard in the security and intelligence facilities in Damascus, and there were two units that are targeted, the General Security Directorate and the Military Intelligence Building. As of the time of making this video, uh, although there have been accusations flying out from all sorts of people blaming each other, the origin of the explosion is unknown and there is no group that is claiming responsibility okay and i don't have to almost every everyone has been blamed for this no group has claimed responsibility and they don't know <laughs> okay okay i have here an outline of the various subdivisions of serious intelligence services and I'm not going to read through all of this, uh, I, I mean, you, you, uh, but I'm going to highlight the, the important points. The first point is that the political security directorate overlaps in function with the general security directorate's internal security division. They both monitor the Syrian population and uh, they also watch each other. And uh, this is um, to, basically, this is designed to protect the ruling uh, dictator, uh, you know, to make sure that he's not um, taken out from within. Of course, the General Security Directorate also does the CIA and also monitors the, monitors the Palestinian groups. Military intelligence has two divisions. There's the military intelligence proper, if you like, uh, and they do basically, uh, you know, surveillance, assassinations, and provide logistical support to terrorism groups. There is a special division called the Air Force Intelligence. The reason for this special division is that Assad was once a commander of the Syria's Air Force. And so what he did is converted the Air Force Intelligence into a special intelligence unit. And uh, their focus here is the sponsoring of international terrorism. So typically they would use um, the um, airlines, for example, to provide logistical aid to special uh, international terrorist um, activities. But the point, I guess, that's probably becoming clear to you now is that these agencies are watching each other. So you can imagine the implications of any one of these security agencies being attacked. Remember, these are intelligence agencies. They are supposed to know about attacks like this well beforehand. Of course, there was some warning given uh, by uh, Lebanon to the um, uh, security agencies in general in Syria and they're saying that Al-Qaeda was doing it. Now, I don't know. That's a, that's a news report. You have to be very suspicious about general news reports, especially when it comes to Al-Qaeda, because uh, Al-Qaeda is also like, a, you know, like saying that you know, the tooth fairy did it. But um, the thing is, let's say an unknown uh, source, an unknown enemy attacked any one of these agencies. The first thing that you would suspect, of course, was there was an internal leak of some kind. Because there was evidently a security breach in an intelligence organization. So there would be a purge. Uh, the General Security Directorate would naturally suspect the Political Security Directorate. And the Military Intelligence would probably suspect Air Force Intelligence. And in fact, Assad would probably be looking at its own, his own uh, personal. Uh, Air Force Intelligence is his own personal turf. He probably would want to take a look at that. And there will be a lot of um, suspicions internally. And purges and um, so I suspect that uh, this is an attack made to look like it came from 
inside. Remember, Syria is at, at the moment undergoing um, a civil, uh, this civil disorder, almost a civil war. Um, there's lots of internal conflict in Syria. By attacking the intelligence agencies, you set the intelligence services against each other. And these are powerful organizations. These are the means by which Assad controls the country. Yeah, it is for this reason that I suspect that this um, event is one of the opening moves in Psalm 83. There is not enough information, though, to definitely conclude that. Mainly, uh, Psalm 83 seems to indicate an attack of Israel against co coalition. And um, I don't yet see that. Uh, attack, on, well, attack on a member of a coalition is not the same thing as an attack on the entire coalition. So this might not be also Psalm 83 for that reason. However, it follows the Psalm 83 uh, battle plan uh, of um, uh, an attack causing internal strife, causing the enemy to destroy itself. Okay, this is George signing off. I hope you found that interesting. Okay, bye-bye for now.